In February 1987, light from an exploding star arrived at Earth after traveling across 160,000 light years of space. It was the first supernova visible to the naked eye in more than 400 years. 32 years later, the light of the supernova itself has faded, but astronomers continue to study its remains for clues about how stars live and die. Dubbed SN1987A, the first supernova that modern astronomers could analyze in great detail, despite the outbursts faded over time. Astronomers now attempting to use NASA's James Webb Space Telescope to analyze the supernova's leftovers in order to shed light on what happened after the star exploded, whether its heart collapsed to produce a neutron star or a black hole. Webb's true power will come from its spectroscopic instruments. By spreading light out into a rainbow spectrum of colors, scientists can determine not only chemical compositions, but also temperatures, densities, and speeds. They can examine the physics of a blast wave and determine how it is affecting the surrounding environment. They can also watch the evolution of the ejected material and ring over time. Most importantly, Webb can study hydrogen emitted from the explosion's core. The researchers may then determine which versions of the explosion best explain these stellar leftovers by studying the position and heat of this hydrogen. The infrared wavelengths allow it to see past the dust and down to the heart of the explosion. Perhaps we'll detect the signal of hot dust warmed by the neutron star. It can also identify if the material from the explosion has returned to the neutron star and pushed it over the edge into becoming a black hole. The James Webb Space Telescope observed this object on July 16th, and the data will be publicly released any day soon. The Spitzer Space Telescope, NASA's previous space mission, barely resolved supernova SN1987A, but we didn't know how and where the blast waves hit on dust grains. With very sharp images from JWST, which is expected to be released very soon, we will be able to capture images of dust grains engulfed by blast waves. So to keep updated on the mission, make sure to like, subscribe, check our previous videos, and visit our website at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.